reactions and suspensions starting from the contents we will be discussing about solutions how they are made solubility what are the factors that affect solubility in increasing it or in decreasing it and then we will be discussing about the saturated and unsaturated solutions so starting from solutions when we mix salt in water or sugar in water we observe that it easily dissolves in it so when we make a solution we are dissolving a thing that is in smaller quantity in another uh, liquid that is in bigger quantity it may be a liquid or a solid or a gas so there are different types of solvents the thing that dissolves something is called a solvent and the thing that is being dissolved is salt so here in this case we see that water is a solvent and we are dissolving salt and sugar in it so they make a crystal clear solution this is a homogeneous mixture the contents of solute are mixed uniformly and they are not scattering in the solution on the other hand we see that pebbles when they are mixed in water what happens water is a solvent pebbles they act as if we consider that these are solute then how much you mix you will observe that pebbles are going to settle down at the bottom and they are not making a homogeneous mixture so what we can say that pebbles and water don't make a solution whereas sugar and salt they make a solution with water so solution is a homogeneous mixture of two or more substances next we are going to discuss about solubility we have observed that salt dissolves easily in water it depends upon the quantity of salt that you add in water here you can see that a, a person or you can say a kid is adding some solute to a solvent solvent is in large quantity so when he mixes he gets a solution however there is a limit to which the salt can dissolve in water this limit depends upon the solubility of the solute there is a specific limit solubility is the maximum amount of solute that can dissolve in 100 grams of solvent at a given temperature here you can see that there are some tablets we can mix them in water but there is a limited number of tablets that will mix and form a homogeneous mixture with water without settling up at the bottom so this limit is called solubility here you can see that there are two types of solutions saturated and unsaturated solution concept of solubility will help us to understand this in an unsaturated solution we can add some further amount of solute and dissolve it in the solvent to get a clear solution for example when we add 10 grams of sugar in 50 ml of water so sugar is a solute and and water is a solvent at 30 degrees centigrade we get a clear solution so this is an unsaturated solution because when we add 10 grams of sugar further to this solution the, uh, the further amount of solute that is added at the particular temperature it also gets dissolved in the water that was previously having only 10 grams of sugar now it has also dissolved 10 grams of sugar so it is having 20 grams of sugar added now if we will add further 10 grams of sugar it will not dissolve in it and will settle down at the bottom so we are getting saturated solution when we have dissolved maximum amount of solute in the solvent at a particular temperature and this is also the solubility factors that affect the solubility are different uh, for example 
it uh, it depends upon the nature of solute and solvent we see that solubility of salt in water is high is higher than sugar we can add more amount of salt in a glass of water as compared with uh, the number of spoons of sugar you mix in a glass of water because different solutes have different properties and it also depends upon pressure we see that carbon dioxide is a gas and it acts as a solute because it is dissolved in carbonated drinks at high pressure so increasing the pressure also increases the solubility of gases in liquids uh, and third factor is the temperature we will be discussing it in more detail temperature solubility of liquid and solid solutes increases by increasing the temperature in normal solutions the solubility increases as the temperature increases whereas it is opposite in the case of gases here you can see there are different solubilities at the same temperature of different substances which are dissolved in water nacl is the table salt kcl is another chemical uh, we can dissolve kcl up to 34 grams but we can dissolve NaCl table salt up to 36 grams in 100 grams of water so different substances have different solubilities next we see here that copper sulfate is a solute that is blue colored crystals uh, crystal like chemical we can dissolve it up to 24 grams in 100 grams of water in 100 ml of water at 25 degrees centigrade that is the room temperature to make a saturated solution but when we increase the temperature we can add up to 64 grams of copper sulfate in the water and it dissolves to give a homogeneous mixture so solubility is increasing by increasing the temperature when solute is solid next the solubility of gases decreases as the temperature increases because the the solubility of gases decreases as the kinetic energy of the solute uh, increases the gas starts to escape from the solvent so greater are the chances of uh, getting a solution disturbed for example here you see that uh, in the first figure temperature is normal and as the temperature lowers uh, as the temperature increases the particles of gas that are solute they are getting energy kinetic energy they move faster and here are the greater chances uh, the greater chances of their escape from the solvent so Solubility of gases is decreasing as temperature is increasing. That was all about this topic. Thank you so much for your time.